about a year ago, I created a video tutorial for getting the absolute best video um, quality on YouTube using Sony Vegas. Now, what prompted me to do this is I moved uh, from using Blender, an open source application, to using Sony Vegas, which is a commercial product, and my video quality just completely dropped. Like, I was getting blur it was blurry where it shouldn't be, uh, my colors were messed up, and it just wasn't looking right. So, I did a bunch of research, and I came to a pretty logical conclusion that if you render your video exactly how YouTube tells you to render your video you're going to get the best quality you can possibly have on the service because um, they do compress your stuff quite a lot so you're going to get the best results if you give them exactly the file types and codecs that they're looking for um, so when I did that a year ago I didn't know too much but as time progressed and as, as I went back and forth with other users of these presets I've come to perfect them. Now, in the following video, I'm going to show you the method for doing this, but this is just an introduction where I just talk about the, um, you know, what's going on and kind of show you how it works. Um, furthermore, there's going to be a, a follow-up video that's a comparison of my video settings against the popular video settings of YouTube, you know, of popular YouTubers. Now, um, I just want to say, I don't want to make fun of anyone, but almost every single video on the subject on YouTube is misinformation and these guys aren't telling you the truth. They might think that those are the best settings but um, it's just impossible in Sony Vegas to get um, uh, natively to get good video quality on YouTube. It just There's no setting for it. You have to use an external codec. So in the method video I'll show you how to do that but here let's just take a look at um, what's going on how these video presets work. Anyway so here we have the advanced settings and here's the encoder settings that we'll be using um, to to basically encode these videos so we've got x264 h264 this is the video codec that they're asking for here's the high profile there are two consecutive B frames um, and there's a closed GOP and uh, what's it called and there's the um, GOP of half of the frame rate. So that will be 30, the frame rate is 60. Um, let's see, Kabak, we have Kabak over here, and um, we have a variable frame rate, and we have 4.20 chroma, chroma subsampling. Where is it at? It's in here. Just believe me, I've spent a bunch of time on this. It just did that a while ago. So, um, so that's that. We're good with that, right? Video settings match up. Um, you'll also notice that they want the move file at the front, the move atom at the front of file. So um, let's take a look at this. So perfect.mp4 is one of the files I've uh, rendered using my presets that you know I'm using for testing. Um, and as you can see, here it is: move before mdat. So what do we have? We can cross this off, we can cross that off, and we can cross all of this off because that's all taken care of. Common frame rate, that's taken care of. Uh, bit rate, that's taken care of. So they're saying you can do, uh, you need to do 12 megabytes per second. Um, that's just right here. That's where you change that. Uh, I like to keep it a little bit higher. My connection is pretty fast. So um, I will do a test and we'll see whether making it higher actually does anything at a later time. But for now, these presets are working pretty good. So we've got that. Now let's take a look at the audio. We want stereo or 5.1, and we, you know, it needs to be AAC LLC. Um, so let's go ahead to this video right here, and we're going to open it up with media info. Um, you will see that it's, again, let's match it up. 4.2 high. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. High profile 4.2. Quebec, yes. Um, reframes 3. I don't believe that's a re requirement anymore, but it was at some point and is just left over. Um, let's see. There it is. Chroma subsampling 4.20. Told you. And there we go. Audio AAC, just like it's asking. Format profile LC, just like it's asking. I'm telling you, these are the perfect settings. This is exactly what YouTube is asking for. So now that you understand kind of behind the scenes of what's going on, let's kick it over to the next video and you can see the method and how to accomplish this on your own computer.